unlike most developing countries, Korea does not have a large rural population. First of all, I think it will be helpful for you to understand the rural convergence industry in Korea by briefly explaining the rural conditions in Korea. Next, I will explain how the rural convergence industry has been fostered at the regional level. Then a case study of regional network analysis of rural convergence industry is explained. And finally, I will make implications and policy suggestions. Before explaining the Korean case in earnest, I would like to increase my understanding of the rural uh, areas of Korea. In Korean government has tried to a variety of policies to keep pace with demographic and social changes. In particular, policies directly related to the topic of the today webinar, OVOP, are being promoted. Since the mid-20s, 2000s, the Korean government has been pursuing a full-scale rural industrialization policy. We are attempting to promote secondary or territory industrial activities by utilizing resource with pluralistic values in agriculture and rural areas. The project to foster regional specialties was carried out from 2008 to 2010. This program has been continued as a project to support an, the industrialization of rural resources from 2010 to the present. In addition, project to foster local agricultural clusters have been ongoing since 2005. The slide you see now shows how Korea's rural convergence industry policy has changed since the 1980s, 1990s, 2000s, and 2010s. Contents and major projects are divided based on five categories secondary uh, processing and experimental tourism services and uh, rural uh, industrial base and socio-economic uh, uh, conditions uh, and local uh, revitalizations. Until the 1980s, projects such as Semal Factory which were accumulated for industrialization of agriculture and carried out during the uh, Semalundong in the 1970s were continuing. In the 1990s, various support projects were supported to foster the processing industry based on agriculture, and the OVOP policy was promoted in earnest by creating a special complex. In particular, the 1990s was a period in which restructuring of Korean economic was actively taking place with the opening the, of imports of crops, agricultural crops expanding, and then the reduction of the labor force in rural areas I intensified. The main goal was increase uh, the economic ripple effects uh, through the creation of agriculture and industrial complexes. In the 2000s, the core of the policy was to increase self-sufficiency by strengthening local capacity with the goal of regional innovation. After 2020s, the focus on 2010, uh, the focus is on pluralistic functions of agriculture and rural areas, raising income, creating jobs, and creating virtual 
virtuous circle structure through the population inflow was the biggest goal of the regional revitalization. In particular, Korea is making efforts uh, to develop rural specialized industries as a regional job creation platform. Today's webinar is about OBOP, but Korea is discussing at the regional level, not the village level. Through the rice paddy project in Namhae, the southern part of Korean peninsula, is the number of jobs created 305% uh, from Mm, uh, from three nine, uh, 396 in 2000 to 1,606 in 2015. Yongwang uh, is also the southern part of the Korean Peninsula, employs 1,436 people on increase of 2,000. 295% compared to the 2000 by making special products and that are dried and salted with the theme of gulbi. It means that uh, there's a kind of fish and specially specialty product. The core of the rural regional rural convergence industry nurturing policy is to make the, it work by integrating the, it around the hub rather than doing individual businesses at the stage of the value chain, at the every stage of value chain. The target has been expanded from supporting individual business entities to supporting front to back uh, linked businesses. The policy goal has aimed to revitalize the economy and grow together in the rural areas, going beyond increasing the income of individual businesses. For this work, for this to work, the key is the industrialized industrial policies and regional development policies are supported together in an integrated manner rather than support for the each industry individually. When supporting an individual business entity, the certified company is selected and a professional uh, counseling is supported and antenna shop is operated and basic fact finding is supported by government. At the regional level, Networks are established for the sixth industrialization, that is a linkage between the value chains, diffusions, aggregations, and scale up, and a regional level promotion system is established. In addition, integrated support will be provided in connection with the local tourism system. The slide you see now is a representative rural convergence industrial complex designated state status. As you can see, we have designated and nurtured specialized complexes targeting various crops in various regions. The Korean government aims to expand the regional network from 25 uh, locations in 2017 and uh, to, uh, 92 to 2022. A similar situation is likely in your country, but even in rural areas in Korea, businesses, entities in rural areas lack capacity compared to the urban areas. To support this, the Korean government is emphasizing the in establishment of uh, a uh, network. From now on, I would like to introduce you a case of gochujang cluster. It means the fermentative uh, food paste of Korea uh, produced by the, the chili pepper, hot chili pepper, and sunchanggun the southern part of the Korean peninsula 
um, studied by Cray. Suncheonggun, Suncheon County, located in southern part of Korean Peninsula, has long been known as a good area for farming due to its good water and fertile soil. In particular, it has famous for fermentative foods such as red pepper paste, which Korean prefers. Koreans prefer and the government used to make some sauce district in uh, Suncheon County. The table you see now show the government and administrative organizations, stakeholders and key players, suppliers, central industries and distribution channels, invest, um, innovators, competitors, and market characteristics, respectively. It is important to build uh, to a network. In the case of Suncheon County, uh, we asked about the type of cooperation in uh, production with uh, local entities. As a result of survey, it was found that the form of co-production of products occupied the largest portion. After that, the, the answer was that they would jointly procure low, uh, raw materials like the, the soy, soy sauce or soybeans or ch hot red chili peppers. Co-promotion and the businesses were found to relatively low compared to the other regions. As a result of survey, it was found that the network density in Suncheon County it was higher than uh, in 2017 compared to 2014 within just uh, three years. The average linkage per business unit also increased. If I uh, picturally show the, the result, it is, uh, this is it. Compared to the three years ago, it can be seen that various uh, stakeholders are cooperating in a complex way. It was found that the roles and cooperatives relations relationships of key stakeholders have become more uh, complex and uh, diversified. The survey explored uh, the, the factors limiting the growth of new rural convergence industry case reasons. First, the uh, decrease of probability is cited as a factor that hindered new production activities. Investments and effort are required to, uh, for new activities, but uh, decrease in profitability, profitability until the period when such capability are accumulated is suggested as a risk factor. So far, we have briefly looked at the case of OVOP in Korea. In Korea in particular, uh, it can be seen that the entry of new farms and formation of networks through the Agriculture Techno Technology Center and Research Society within the, the region are actively appearing. I think this is especially necessary for developing countries. The case of Korea is not a model answer, but all policies should be appropriately modified and applied according to the demographic, cultural, social, economic conditions of each country's rural areas. If there are no incentives for business entities participating in a value chain to cooperate with other business entities to expand their businesses, it will be difficult to expect the effective of policy. In other words, this means that individual business entities should be profitable economically. Thank you for your attention.